Played by the rules, nah, bitch, I play dirty His girl said she don't like me, I'm too flirty Pussy so wet, take a sip if you're thirsty If you wanna come, baby, come to my spot Guaranteed, Lani Good will make it worth the journey Morning sex is a flex, make me stretch Hi, everybody! Hi, everybody! Welcome to my YouTube channel Or welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm Lani Good, good! Okay, so... From here on out, we're here with consistency and content and videos because I'm I'm about I'm about my YouTube. I'm about my YouTube and about my content and I'm about you lot. So I've missed you guys so much. Make sure you guys who haven't subscribed, subscribe. Make sure you um, give this video a like and also um, click the bell button because sometimes YouTube doesn't let everybody know that I've posted and it doesn't give you notifications. So make sure you you click the bell button. Okay. So so this video is a is a video that I never ever do. It's actually I would say not a, a, a very it's not a very UK type of video. It's actually kind of like something an American would do. But you know what? F it. I'm not here to live in limitations. I want to live um, and march the beat to my own drum. So I want to do videos that I would want to watch. And there's nobody that does content like this in the UK. So why not? Um, I'm gonna be the first. So. I would like everybody, um, the problem is I can't make content that nobody enjoys. Even if I enjoy it, if I only get 10 views, then I'm not going to do it again. So after I've done this video, I would like to know whether you guys enjoy this video. And the only way I'm going to know if you like this video is if you comment below. So if you enjoy this video and you want me to do it again, this will be at the end of the video, in the middle of the video, whenever you feel like this video is actually really interesting. I want you to put a one in the comment section. And that's just, the one is just for me to know as an indicator that you like these type of videos now let's get into it i watch a lot of american gossip and a lot there's a lot of youtube channels that give you american gossip the tea you, you know what's happening with summer walker you know what's happening with this person and then one of the channels that i really really like he's called armand wiggins and all he does and he's not the only one there's other ones too but he's just for me the 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 one of the ones i like the most and there's also a guy called herbie and what they do is they talk about female um female like music the music scene in like the female american realm but black wise like you know black or urban so they'll talk about like for instance american female rappers like literally that's all they talk about on their channel day to day um or they'll talk about like females in general so they might still talk about they might talk about chloe bailey for instance and beyonce and and then you get cardi and nikki and lato but um i love all that content and the thing is as much as i was i could beg it and i could sit here and talk about lato all day long or cardi b all day long i don't live in america at the end of the day i live in the uk so why not why not talk about the uk girls no one really does it and and when they do everyone's just fake nice so i'm here to give you my unfiltered opinions about the uk female rap scene and why it is it is shambolic and it's sinking to the bottom and it just doesn't it just doesn't it can't compete or it can't hold a flame to to their male counterpart milk i can't speak the male counterparts. Now, this video isn't because I dislike anybody except Trinity Banks. She's a hoe. Okay, Trinity Banks is a hoe. I don't like that bitch. Okay, it's only three minutes. Um, I'm only three minutes in this video, so I can't swear. But um, that's the only person in this video that I really I'm not feeling her. I think that girl needs to literally like hang it up and go in a corner somewhere because nobody cares about you. You're trash, and all you do to trend is use drag other girls' names in your mouth. You're trash. You're trifling, and no one cares about you. Her, she just needs to go away somewhere and maybe like literally just open her legs and sell her body because that's all she's good for anyway next so i'm gonna like talk about the scene in general but really i'm gonna actually give you my opinion on individual females and what i think of their career and what i think they could do to make it better and worse um like i said if you enjoy the video make sure you put a one in the chat so i know i can do one again make sure you like this video so i'm gonna start this video with a, a random person that i've been watching and i feel like we've all been watching her and i want to tell you why she's done it right what she's doing right and actually i i want to say i i commend her and i envy her because i feel like for instance i could have had a a more fun career in my music 
if I had been more true to myself, but I feel like this is not me trying to be negative, but I had, once you start doing decent, a lot of people want to manage you, and I feel like my management kind of, they wanted me to be like a, they wanted me to be like Shabo, and like, it's like, now with hindsight, it's like, but I'm not like Shabo though, so that doesn't make any sense, I should have just been me from the start. So the person I'm going to talk about is somebody who I think is herself authentically and apologetically and is doing amazing. By the way, I'm not going to... I, I'm not gonna just praise everyone, so don't just think that this is some weird video where I'm just gonna lick everyone's arsehole, because it's not. It's not, okay? So, I'm gonna talk about, I think her name is C China. C China is literally unapologetic. She literally, like, talks about effing your dad or her the fact that she sells her tits, and she's 19, and it's like, she's crude, she's rude. Um, she's, she's herself, her accent is like, proper cockney and she raps in her cockney accent and i live for her at first i wasn't totally sold but the reason i live for her is because men i got 10 men on my lunch to fuck me and your daddy's the biggest spender mm. i'm taking advantage of men because these dumb little niggas ain't got composure when i turned 19 this year she listened away they were dying for yash they were laughing at legal baby but most of them using my titties to bash all you do is chew on your blocks think sis is being so authentically herself and i don't think she's putting up a front and i feel like some of the other girls they're ch still trying to find out who they are and they're still trying to find their feet and i think sometimes some of them they they sold us something and then they switched it up uh, i'm going to give you a quick example of somebody who i think switched up on us um ivd i think ivd initially gave us this cute girl next door high school secondary school i'm your best friend um sorry there's no outside i'm your best friend we can be best friends like she gave us she gave us a little bit of that i think rumors did really well and i also think i don't want to digress i'm going to go back to see china but i'm just giving an example and i think with her we we really like so bought into correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section if you think i'm wrong let me know i want you guys to be to be honest because i really i care about the the female um uk scene and i wanted to do well so let me know if you think i'm right but i think initially people are definitely playing outside let me close the window oh that's better i think people fell in love with her because she was very relatable. When we first met her, she like was having problems with her friend. And I think like, because she let us into her like, into her bedroom with her YouTube videos, she be almost became like the friend we never, ha we never had. I think sometimes with YouTubers and TikTokers, especially if they do very homey stuff with you, whether in their bedroom or they're in their kitchen, you start to feel like they're your, um, like they're your 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 best mate and then you start to feel like you can like literally relate to them and like like you just really feel like like oh my god like you know like they this person could be somebody that goes to my college this person could be somebody that is in my uni you start to feel like that so then you start to feel like the person becomes very relatable um and i feel like she saw that relatability that cutesy that she was just, I think she had this innocence to her. She was so sexy, but she had this innocent girl next door thing. And then I think immediately rumors hit, I think she went full on sex. Full on sexy. Full on, um, Nicki Minaj. And I don't think, I think the audience that had bought into her, just, it didn't translate. Um, so she switched up on us. I feel like if she wanted to be sexy, I kind of think like she should have done that from the start. Like, see China. I feel like see China has been um this sex pot from the start and i think i guess when you're just who you are especially from the beginning i think it really works do not get me wrong they are artists who have switched up in life on us if you look at britney spears career she came she uh, the reason i'm using britney spears is because i think her change is similar to ivd's britney spears is very innocent um girl next door um uh, oh, sorry 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 she was singing um i was born to make you happy always and forever you and me that's the way my life should be so britney spears was doing all of that and she was being very cutesy and she was being very ah ah girl next door bubblegum and then um 
I think, I'm not sure if it's the second or third album, but by the time she dropped Soleil for you, it was literally like, who is this? She was like, I'm a uh, uh, slave for you. And she literally had knickers that were like, ex, 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 what's the word? Like they were emphasizing her, her woman region, her vaginal region. It was very raunchy, very sexy. And like a lot of her fans were probably repulsed by it. And they'll probably like, oh my God, what is going on? But I think because she was such a world, a, a worldwide superstar and her, she had so much eyes on her and so many people were interested in her career. I think she gained a lot of new fans. And then somebody who's very similar, we talk about him all the time, Sam Smith. Sam Smith had boy next door. He could sing. He was singing in church and he had his fan base. But because he was so big as an artist, when he switched it up and started doing I'm a thought, I'm a thought in his thong, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, yes, some people were like, I don't like this Sam Smith, I want the old Sam Smith. But he was so big and he tr and he and because he was so big, he his ch his change trended it trended all over um, the internet and people who could who like this new raunchy side of him were could be attracted to this new sam smith because he was trending everywhere and he gained new supporters of course he lost some but he gained new supporters my point is i don't think it's wrong that ivd changed but because she wasn't i think she changed too early i think she should have run with the girl next look at ice spice Ice Spice is always in the school, the little schoolgirl thing. She's very cutesy. I think she's and very, very cutesy. She's not too much. I think IVD should have run with it, maybe for a year or two, even three years. And once she was consistently had that fan base, she should have just slotted it out. And people would have loved her regardless, because once you love someone, you love them, and it's very hard for you to turn your, your back against them. So back to see China. I feel like she is just so... I don't give a F so authentically herself accent wise in the street with the bra like she's I, I saw my tits what she's so authentically herself it's actually refreshing me as an old woman i look at her and i think raw i actually sometimes think like why am i i have actually cared to a degree about to a degree not fully but i've cared to a degree in the past about what people thought of me and if people thought I was just a shit artist or they like that made music, I'm forgetting the music, just in general, I've cared if people cussed me. Look at her! She couldn't give a, she couldn't give a shit. And it's just, it's inspirational. It's actually inspirational. Like, I know it sounds bizarre, but when someone is unapologetically themselves, whether it's ratchet, whether it's, I, gee, oh my god it's it's unreal i want to stop this video really quickly because i want to say something i need a huge favor from you guys i said this in my previous video not the video about my um hpv thing my video where i was talking about um my video where i was talking about uh up updates and i told her i was going to do a black love island but something has been telling me my spirit to do a uk bad girls club and um I have two months to organize this. I've already started to organize my love my love show, so I just need to know with with I need paragraphs. I need paragraphs. I need you to write me a dissertation. Maybe not a dissertation, but I need you to write me something substantial. I need to know. Do you really think um, Bad Girls Club would do better than a love show? Look at our Blue Therapy. Blue Therapy was a love show. Um, love Island. Love is Blind, it will do really well, guys. Don't make me waste my money, you know? But if you guys really think Bad Girls Club, that's what you lot will watch, because the thing is, the only people that are going to make this trend is you lot. You are the ones who are going to push it for me, so I want to make a show that you guys want. So let me know if you'd rather see a black love show, or y'all want a Bad Girls Club, because guess what? Out of the two of them, the one I can do, I can do both well, well, don't get it twisted, but the one I can do well, well, well is definitely a Bad Girls Club. I promise you that. Yeah, I promise you that. I promise you that. Yeah, obviously it will not be called that. So outside of that, in the comment section below, also if you've got suggestions of names, um, it can't be called that legally. So it would have to be called like Badders UK. Um, I want to make it into some sort of like, kind of like, you know, when you go, when you go to school to get corrected. So like, not charm school, but like, it could be called Badder School something, but you let me know in the comment section because I haven't thought about it like that. But you guys might have better names, so let me know. Back to the video. 
um so see china i think she needs to keep going the only thing she's sis is doing wrong is sis can be holy and study um i think she should switch it up a little bit with her clothes i think she can still do her her naked thing but we need to see a different type of outfit i think also we need to see we need to see a bit of a video like a proper video like her videos have been in the hotel rooms and on the street um which is fine um she's young and up and coming but i think she should save her pennies she makes money from showing her teddies so i think she should save her pennies and give us a a video i think she needs to give us a video like a, a really good video like I, I think it's time we need to see a actual video um i think she i think it would blow i think she needs to do a video i think she needs to do something suggestive in like a, a cafe and with whipped cream i think she needs to do it i do i do i do i do so i'll be real with you i actually think c china is the next one up um i do i think she's the next one up i think she's the most authentically herself obviously i'm me <laughs> Because my new stuff is fire and it's more me. Um, and I don't I'm not letting anyone in my ear anymore. But I think C China outside of myself is the next one up. Okay, let's move on. Like I've really praised that girl. I'm gonna talk about T Zandos really quickly. I don't have much to say about her. I think she's actually lyrically and in terms of her delivery, probably one of our coldest. I think she's probably up there. I would actually go as far as to say she's top three, maybe even number one. It depends how you want to see it. But I'm not talking about, this is not me being trying to be rude. I'm not talking about how she packages herself or her breasts or the, her videos. I'm just talking about lyrically, the way she raps. I think she's probably top three. I just think she's too hood to be commercially big. Um, and if we're... It, like i th i see her the way i see like a glorilla like glorilla is doing really well in life but glorilla is 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 it will never be uh, like without with all due respect i don't mean to be rude but glorilla will never be cardi b Glo glorilla would, won't be Nicki minaj and it's not because i don't want her to be i would love her to be she can prove me wrong um I, I would love her to prove me wrong but i just i don't see it for her because i think she's too hood um but i do see like i follow glorilla and i see her trying to like you know princess up and become more ladylike and that's the thing with tzandos now the only thing in defense of tzandos i will say her age she's young so she has time to show me that commercial not show me but sh well i guess it's, um, it's my opinion so i think she has time to be become commercial one pop um yeah i think she has time to become commercial and pop but for the most part i don't see her i don't believe that in her character she's this super feminine super girly girly pop star and wait a minute when do you say like where am i going with this i think all the biggest maybe i didn't explain that i think all the biggest rap girls are really feminine the only one i can think of who isn't is um who isn't who's had a big career is um missy elliott but when you look at the rest of them it's Nicki minaj i spice um what do you call it uh cardi b and megan the stallion they're super girly and feminine and i just with all due respect guys do, can you imagine t zandos twerking like hey guys i just wanted to make it clear because i don't want to be mean to this young lady that when i'm talking about um the the whole like hood thing i'm not talking about looks wise i'm talking about um i'm talking about personality only so what i mean is um i've seen i think t Zanders is pretty and i've seen her scrub up really well and look so beautiful and you know so as a, and i've seen a lot of other artists in the uk look beautiful but i mean more to do with their personality so with her i can't imagine her being i can't imagine her doing like for instance you know that barbie song with Nicki minaj and um i spice I can't imagine her doing that. I can't imagine her doing WAP. I can't imagine her... I just can't imagine her being hyper feminine and talking about her boobs. And I think, looks-wise, I've seen her scrub up and look feminine. But the when she raps, she just sounds like Mandem. And I know she could soften it up, but she's just... We've just gone down this road so much so that I just can't see it. I cannot see her sitting there, twerking and giving us a, you know, baby, come to my yard. But this is only with her personality.
I'm sure they could put her in a, a, a little skirt and a top and it could suit her. She could do something really cute, pigtails, whatever. But I just can't imagine her rapping and being super feminine. I just, I can't, can't. And if you guys disagree with me, let me know. I'm just, I'm just asking. Can you? I'm not saying she can't. But I mean, like, it's something that you guys really... I, I just don't see her as... I don't see her as girly. And I think she could girly it up. But she just has that thing in her that's not super, super girly. Um, I don't know. I mean, she has brothers, so I don't know if they made her this way. Um, maybe she needs to come to my charm school. <laughs> maybe she needs to come to my charm school. But yeah, I, I think... In order to go pop, I think you need to become girly. I think you need to become feminine. And that's the one area I would say that T-Zandos just doesn't... That was what's holding her back. Because she can do street anthems all day long. Street anthems all day long. But in, eventually, she's going to have to transition. And how do you transition when all you do is, is, is like street music and hood music? She needs to girly it up. She needs to, period. Um, someone else that I think has a similar, um, I wouldn't say it's a problem, but a similar issue is she doesn't have that femininity. She tried with Crocs. Do you guys remember Crocs? She did, She released it last year. She hasn't actually dropped a song since. And Crocs was her worst performing song. Shaper has a lot of success, so I'm not here to be, pretend sh she's a flop, no. Shaper has a lot of success, and I think she tried to commercialise it up when she did that song with Georgia Smith, which is great, but Georgia Smith was in the song. On her own, I, I feel like... I'm not saying Shaper can't have a, a hit. I'm just saying to have longevity as a huge rap star, I think girls have to be super feminine. Um, I might be wrong, you lot tell me in, in, in the comment section if you think I'm wrong. But I just haven't seen it done. Every single pop star or every single rap girl that is huge is super, 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 super girly and feminine. And they twerk 24-7. And they make m music videos that are very pink. And I don't see that for her. I don't see that for, um, for, 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 for Shabo. I don't know if that's something that can be learned. Do you guys think it's something that can be learned? She has this Queen of the South. I, I just don't know if it's something that can be learned. I think there are people who have it more naturally. Like, obviously, like, I think Ivy D is super, super girly and super feminine naturally. I just think, like, Ivy D, the reason maybe she isn't getting the view she used to get is I think she's lost some of her likability. But that's to do with the fact that she changed on people. That's my opinion of why I think her music isn't doing as well. She might have different opinions, but I'm talking from a viewer point of view. I think she's changed on people a little bit. She's not the person people have fell in love with. And I think she's lost some supporters. She also hasn't been consistent on these other factors. I'm just trying to get to the nitty or gritty where I think she, she, because even if she had taken time off, people would miss her. People would miss her. She would drop a tune and people would be there waiting with bated breath for her next drop. I actually just think it's also to do with the fact that she's not who we fell in love with. Um, she just isn't. She was just so relatable before. She used to do YouTube before and tell us about, you know, she used to just tell us stories about her boys. And I just, I just think that relatability and that openness, you know, I, I think it's done her a disservice. She's gone as far as to delete all the videos, um, all her YouTube videos from her channel. And I, I just don't think that was a good idea. I'll be honest, I, I don't. Um, I think she kind of thought, oh, I'm, a, I'm an artist now. I don't need to do YouTube. No, sis. I think the YouTube helped you. KSI is an artist and KSI is, has literally had number one hits and he's on the radio all the time. And KSI still jumps on YouTube to talk to his people. So why doesn't she do it? Like, why did she think that she was bigger than that? I just don't think that it worked at all. And I think she needs to go back to talking to her audience. I really think it will help her. And to be honest with you, like, I think I should be charging people for this advice because it's sick. That will be... That will be, that will be 80 pounds, please, IVD, for my amazing advice. 
but I do think she needs to switch on her camera and talk to her audience again. I think the disconnect, the, the you, she has a good personality. And I think for the most part, she seems like a really sweet girl, but I think it doesn't always translate because she just comes across really big headed in some of her, it's not the pictures. It's just because the disconnect with her talking is, is, is gone. So I think people judge her more and think that she's this, she's got gassed and the, I, the, the rumors went to her head. I do believe a lot of people think that and it's, 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 it, it's when people get very gassed they will turn on you it's it's distasteful people want you to be humble um so yeah so i've done shabo i'm not gonna go too much into shabo i just think that shabo oh oh the last thing i want to say about shabo is i actually think shabo's voice suits afrobeats so commercially i think i think the song she does a song with um oh she does a song with uh I forget these boys. They did, also did a song with T on them. Da, da, da. And then, then options. Uh, 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 and options. What is their name? And then, and then, and then options. Those boys. She did a song with them and it was like Afro, Afro inspired. And I think she really suited that sound. I think the harsh UK rap tone, the, the, the bad girl from South, really suits Afro beats. And I think she should really explore that. I think she could do really amazing songs with, with a burner boy, with, with, with those type of people. I really do. So I think Shabo has potential to have a very, very big career ahead of her. But if I, if I'm going to sit here and say I can imagine Shabo, Shabo, pussy popping and talking about her cat and how wet it is and um you know like yes you know like yes suck it baby suck it suck it suck it baby yeah suck it baby you know like no i don't i don't that niggas are much uh I, I just don't i don't see her in that way so um i think the girly thing um i mean she can try one more time i might be wrong I doubt it, but she can try one more time. But for me, I think that she needs to do the Afrobeats thing. Afrobeats is huge right now. It's crossed over. That's the one I think she needs to do because she's talented. So that's my one for Shabo. Um, do you know who is actually underrated but is getting a bit of a shine? And she has that girly, but she's also like got that that like a yeah, what I'm hood, but it's perfect. La Vida Loca. La Vida Loca has the perfect mix. I just think with La Vida Loca, she's just a she's just a rapper. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes to do well, you have to like have a personality online to a degree. Um, basically, like I know, like people have things that they, people think a lot about her, but like when you look at Renee, Renee, Renee has a very big personality online, and if Renee dropped music. It would do well so i that's what i mean i'm not saying sorry i'm not saying la vida loca should have an insane personality like R R R renee um because obviously renee is controversial and stuff but what i am saying is um she connects with her audience renee reed really connects with the audience so I, I think it would help la vida loca to talk to her audience a lot more i know she's done interviews and stuff but i think she should go on lives and stuff i think she should talk to her audience on that i really do so that's my thing for her but i think with her i could definitely see her doing a pussy popping song and all that stuff because she is hyper feminine but she's also she's also a tug love her so you see her she's also the next one up like with her i i see it for her i just think that sometimes you need the right song um and yeah but you know i i, I see it for her in the sense that she has that she can adapt um but obviously she hasn't got the controversy that c china has c china goes viral because she's controversial so actually maybe la vida loca needs to do a song about how wet it is down there like girl maybe you need to do a song about how wet it is down there and it needs to be called wet wet and you need to be licking a lollipop in the video i don't know sis but she needs to do something controversial but then you guys might be like not every rapper has to do that but all the biggest girlies do it so i don't know what you want me to say even friggin missy elliott they all talk about it. They all talk about la 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 la. They all talk about it. They all talk about la 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 la. They all talk about you wanna la 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 down on me. All of them talk about it. I don't make the rules. This is what sells. So, okay. So, who else do I want to talk about? I want to now talk a little bit. I want to talk about Trillery Banks. 
just a little bit i just want to have i think trinity rebanks is trash i think trinity rebanks is desperate and is clutching onto anything that will make her relevant and trend so that's why she went and cussed every single girl now what are you going to do next girl you're going to do a porn video and 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 and, and uh, deep throw it in your next video so you can get views and trend you might as well there, there you go 80 pounds as well thank you you're, you're welcome she might as well make a video and literally porn and show us her punani and literally deep throw it and go ah and literally it did back in her throat, back in her throat. She might as well do that. And then she'll trend. She's desperate. She is desperate to trend. She's desperate to be a somebody. She's a loser. She's a nobody. She's she's just a tapped youth. And I think she should just give up in life and just go in a corner. Nobody likes you. I'll just be real. Nobody likes her. She's a weirdo. Freaking absolutely think she's actually scum of the earth. I think she's scum of the earth. Honestly disgusting what a waste of space and she's always talking about these rap girls like she's one of them like grow up nobody cares about you you're a weirdo you're literally a weirdo nobody likes you you're desperate you're desperate literally release your next song and then put it on only fans and show us your punani because that's all you're good for you all you're good for is gimmicks all she does is gimmicks to trend you cuss girls in your songs to trend. And it's girls that you don't have beef with. When I, I don't I don't rate it when people don't have authentic beef and they do it for views. Is your beef authentic? No, it's not. Your beef isn't even authentic. You don't even have a problem with these women. You don't know them. You don't have a problem with them. You just wanna cuss them in your videos because you want you just you want clout. What's your issue with them? And then it's like you wanna cuss all of them and you're better than all of them, but you're not. You're not a good rapper. No lady is a better rapper than you. That is a fact. So what are we talking about? Then you want to talk about you're sexier than her, okay? Even if you say you're sexier than one or two girls, like you're not the sexiest though, are you? You're literally not. You're really not all that. Like who gassed you? You're not. You're like literally going for Nole. Nole washed you. Nole washed you. You cannot rap like her. All you want to do is, is, is say I'm laying, I'm laying. You're not all that. You're not all that. You're scum. You're scum. You're a broke ass hole. You are literally the example to show women that they shouldn't rap in the UK or else they'll be broke like you and be begging it and desperate and clutching for stores on the internet at the age of 39. Like, grow up and you want to act like you're young, you're bare young. Bro, you're like 30. Yeah, bro, you're like 31. Stop acting like you're bare young because you're not, fam. Like, you're actually not. Like, stop acting like I'm bare young. Young where, sis? One young where? Your videos are trash, you have no money. All your videos reflect that you have no money. Shouldn't you be Stefan done by now? You should be, but you're not. You're trash, you're struggling. You are struggling. You're literally, you're desperate. Like, shut the F up, no one cares about you. Like, get a life, seriously. Nobody likes you, you're desperate. Literally sitting on people's mattresses and literally being a prosy because that's all you are, a prosy. Like, nobody likes you, go away, fucking idiot. Okay, done with her. Um, okay, I'm gonna talk really quickly and then I'm gonna end this video and then I want you guys to know if you want a part two and I'll do a part two and talk about a few more girlies. I'm gonna talk lastly about uh, <laughs> Blasian Baddy. Now, I'm not really sure about Blasian Baddy, whether she, how she feels about me because one time I think she indirected me, she said something about Lani. I'm gonna put the clip in here when she spoke about me and you guys need to tell me in the comment section below if she's dissing me or not because I think she is. People that she's not dissing me like not loads of people but when the song came out i put it on my snapchat like what is this girl saying and two people were like she's not dissing you and i was like but she is though because she says something like i could never be a lani so how is that not a diss and now unless i see a k i can never do a lani take the d and take the cake t and wink can have my body i can put him in his place i'm confused but you guys let me know but with her i think she is pretty so she, aesthetically she could blow in rap I think she's okay at rapping. I think she's good enough to be like an Ice Spice. Um, I think the UK is hot, is not like America. If she was in America, she would have blown by now, but it's not America. I think a lot of people think that she thinks she's all that. I mean, she is pretty, so, um, you know. Um, I guess there's just a disconnect I, I think people just don't resonate with her i think maybe she needs to, to talk to her audience more and actually open up because there's a disconnect with blazing baggy like she did us the thing is 
Blasian, obviously, IVD is more successful than, for instance, a Blasian body. And when IVD did that song with Digga D that was sexual, like it's called Grey Sweatpants or whatever, that song obviously did really well. So Blasian Baddy did her own, I think, with Squing Face, but I'm not 100% sure. And at the moment, as I do this video, I think that th that song is on like 60,000 or 70,000 views. And for a song that is a basically about... I just think like... The views are shocking. If you're gonna make a song that's extremely suggestive with a, a a male rapper who's actually known, I think the song could have done better. It was also put on GRM Daily. So I think the song could have done better. I think at the very minimum, it could have done like 250K. Um, I think because of the context of the song. I don't think it's as dirty as that gray sweatpants song so fair enough like I'll, I'll give it that maybe 200k then it's not because i think sometimes sex really sells so i don't it's not as dirty but i do think he could have done better because especially because it was a collab i think if it was on her own she was doing a sexy song i think the views would have been okay, good enough to me but the fact that she's doing it with another artist makes me not with another artist the fact that yeah yeah with another artist that, that's male and known i think the views were kind of disappointing i think all her videos are cheap um but so was see china so what can i say i think all her videos and she in her house the girls they're very very cheap and i think sometimes you have to invest in your career and we need to see a theme i think she needs to do a video where she's at the skating ring and everyone's dressed like they're in the 70s and they're all skating and they're wearing hipster pants and, and bras and she's got like a, a 70s type beat on it and she raps on that 70s type beat and girls are twerking and and, and it's all and they have she has an afro do something creative 80 pounds that'll be 80 pounds i just think I think the UK in general, in terms of creativity, when we do not have any creativity, I think I carry all the creativity on my back, but it's just because, like, I haven't had the funds of recently, not unfortunately, like, last year, to really showcase what I can do. But don't worry, sis is feeling a lot better, and her finances are, are better. So I think I'll, I'll show you what creativity is. I feel like a lot of these girls just lack creativity. I feel like we've seen sporadic moments of creativity I, um there's a there's a rapper called little sims right she's creative whatever her team's creative and then there's that other one i forget her name but you know she had that song oh i'll talk about her next time brie runway she's creative i just think in general though we, the girls could be a lot the girl scene could be a lot bigger if the creativity went up a notch in general i know individuals show creativity here and there but i think we need to really ramp it up do i think the uk scene could do well yes but i don't think that the people that would support them would be from the uk i think the people that support uk talent are usually from america and from um australia and all that good stuff so i think the uk scene could do really well um, I think they just need a, a cool audience here and then I think their rest will be carried abroad. I think See China is literally like, I think Americans are even the ones pushing her. I think she's just done something different. You know what I'm saying? But it's not just about being different. It's about being different. It's about being creative. There's so many different aspects. Just keep pushing. I think all these girls could keep pushing, but just being sexy and showing nyash and, um, and having a video where you're being sexy and showing Nash isn't good enough. And I think that's why Blasian Baddy's video with with Squang Face or whatever his name is, isn't doing well. All her other songs are okay. I just think being pretty isn't enough in the UK. I think you need to be pretty and I think you need to be creative. And I think you need to be innovative. And I think you need to be, I, I do think you need to be, you have to have that femininity. And I don't think you need to be the best rapper in the world, but I think you need to make a catchy song definitely a catchy song and i think you need to talk to your audience but anyway that's what i've got to say in the issue over and out hole until next time so i just want to know guys if you like this video i'm probably gonna get cussed for it and dragged but this is what they do in the states in the states people talk about artists people talk about their favorites people discuss their thoughts on why this person's song did well or whether they like this song or that song people discuss the scene so what is wrong with us doing it in the uk absolutely nothing so if you mad stay mad boy i don't give a what i don't give a period until next time <laughs> and if you like you put a one in the chat not in the chat put a one in my comment section and as long as i get a decent amount of views 
I'll do a part two, and maybe a part three, and maybe I'll just open my gob more often about the music industry. <laughs> okay, bye, ho! See you later. Play by the rules, nah, bitch, I play dirty. His girl said she don't like me, I'm too flirty. Pussy so wet, take a sip if you're thirsty. If you wanna come, baby, come to my spot. Guaranteed, Lani Good will make it worth the journey. Morning sex is a flex, make me stress.